guys. Good morning. Yeah, they're called phone free zones. Now, if you've been to a major concert, you've probably seen the signs and it's literally where before you enjoy the show, you have to drop your phone in a basket or a pouch like this. Look, I've collected some, if you can see that. I've collected some already. And that's where uh, concert halls, an expert I talked to told me that concert halls have every right to limit those phones and put them right in this basket. But he tells me that's no excuse for a lack of protection. In that situation, people are concerned that if something does happen, they have no communication. And I think in those type of venues, I think we as the public, we need to demand better security. I have, uh, you could have Dimoff told me venues that limit cell phone access should ensure their security to get people to safety and address the problem immediately. He added, in many cases, the main problem with leaving your cell phone behind, you can't let loved ones know that you're safe quickly. Dimoff said to keep in mind, cell phones can also play an important role in helping an investigation. Investigators can gather the video from the phones and piece together a timeline of what happened. Now I stopped by the Beachland Ballroom, a Cleveland concert hall for startup groups, and co-owner Cindy Barber tells me at their place, they encourage cell phone use and hire a security company to keep an eye out for suspicious behavior. And I think it's hard to police cell phones these days because everybody wants to share their experience and that's what happens and oftentimes that's good for an artist at our size level. Very important. Now, Cindy told me it's typically the artists who ask for the cell phone free zones. For example, Chris Rock just performed here at Playhouse Square last month. His website clearly states no cell phones are allowed. They're locked up in pouches until the end of the show. For the E-Team, I'm Lauren Wilson.